Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Johan Duplessis. This is an introduction to the Crane Gantry Girder Design module. I will briefly discuss the most important input parameters, then I will discuss the various output graphs, and finally the calc sheet. The program supports a selection of international design codes. We will start with the general input parameters. I can specify whether the girder is continuous or not. Various load factors can also be set. Various options for girder fixities are available. Two design approaches are available. The first is to evaluate the current section and the second is to optimize the sections. Next, we will look at the main beam sections. Users have the options of selecting I, H, square hollow and rectangular hollow sections. Next up, I can choose to have a channel capping section. Section properties can be entered manually or imported from the Procon section database. Next, I can define the spans. Note that different spans can have different girder sections. Lastly, I can enter the crane data. Most of the crane data input fields are obtained from the crane manufacturer. Clicking on the output tab will start the design process. The program runs through all the possible crane combinations to generate the output. You can view the output results and use the cursor to read values from the diagrams. Vertical deflections, horizontal deflections, vertical bending moments, horizontal bending moments, vertical shear forces, horizontal shear forces, vertical stresses, actual forces. The design results of all the tasks are grouped on a calc sheet for printing. The calc sheets include a data file for easy recalling of the analysis data. I can print my design calculations in PDF format. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.